Okay, so for this one, it says the 25 year loan is being repaid with annual payments of 1300 and an annual effective rate of interest of 7%. And the borrower uh, pays an additional 2600 at the time of the fifth payment and wants to repay the remaining balance over 15 years. Okay, so that would make sense because if he's paying an additional 2600 on top of these level payments, then that signifies a shorter time period to pay back the remaining balance is correct. So now what we're going to do here is that we want to find the outstanding balance by the time uh, of six to figure out how we're going to refinance it throughout the 15 years. So in order for us to do that, we know that for 25 years, five years have passed once the additional 2600 has occurred at, uh, as the fifth payment. So we're gonna do 25 minus five and we're gonna get 20. So I assume that this is known to be called the prospective method or something, uh, but these are the amount of payments that have not elapsed yet. So that's how we find the outstanding balance. Now I'm gonna take my copy and I'm gonna do 1300 as the payment, uh, 20 as the number, of year to seven as the interest rate, zero as the future value, and we compute the present value, and we get 13,772.22 as the outstanding balance occurring at uh, time uh, six. On, on top of that, the borrower pays an additional 2,600. So we're gonna subtract 2,600 from here to find the real outstanding balances. We're gonna do 13,772.22 minus 2600 and we're going to be getting 11172.22. Uh, now we want to refinance it. So we want to find the cap, uh, revised annual payment. So we're going to denote that as x. A, remain balance over 15 years, right? Same effective interest rate. We're going to use TPM again. I'm going to set one one once. 72.22 as my present value, uh, 15 as number of years, 7 as interest rate, 0 as uh, future value. I'm going to compute my payments and I'm going to get 1,226.65, which would be the exact answer.